Hey everybody, this is Kressel Snapdragon back again with another Discord bot tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a simple embedded message, kind of like this here. This I created in the last video, but I didn't quite show you how I created the embedded message. I'm going to show you that here. It's very simple, so it's going to be a short video. And I want to do the same thing with the help command. So usually people type exclamation help for a list of commands that the bot provides. We're going to make that and make it embedded like this. So the first thing I want to do is go to create new command, call it help. I'm not changing any of these restrictions or permissions. I'm going to go to create and we're going to go to embed and I want to create an embedded message. This is where you give it its title, you give it a color, you can give it an author name, an image URL, thumbnail URL, all sorts of things and then we're going to store it in a temporary variable. So we're going to title this as help. And I want to give it a color. This takes HTML hex codes. I'll give you this link here, but basically you just want to choose a color. We'll do light blue, I think. And then here's my code that I want. I'm going to copy and paste that here. And then I'm going to go get an image URL. You can use a JPEG, a PNG, or a GIF. If I go to Giphy, oops, excuse me. Let's go to Giphy. If I go to Giphy, let me just type in help here. We can choose one of these. Let's do Space Jam. Okay, so I'm going to copy the image address and I'm going to paste it here. You want to make sure that it has .gif at the end or .png or .jpg. And then I'm going to store it under a temp variable that I'm going to call message. Okay, so we've created our embedded message description. But now we have to create the body of the text. So you go to create. You're going to go to set embedded description. So this is where we're actually going to write the text of the embedded message. But first you want to make sure that you store it again in the temp variable called message. And again, if you don't remember, a temp variable is just where you temporarily store a body of information so that we can pull it back out so that we can pull it back out again. So it's just going to say here's a list of bot commands. And I'm going to bold all we really have right now is moderation, so I'm going to bold that. And then we have kick. Let's do the command prefix is. So we have kick at user, we have ban at user, we have mute at user, unmute at user. We also have warn at user and then reason and we have clear number. Oops, where's the number symbol? Number. Okay, so those are some of our moderation commands. I want to put here that it has user required permissions. And then delete channel and delete role, those are primarily for just the owner of the server. So I'm not going to put that here. Okay, so we're going to create this. That's our embedded message. And now I want to go here again. And now we have to set it so that it sends the message. So send embedded message. And we stored the description of the message and the text in the temp variable called message. So we're going to put that there and we're going to have it send it to the same channel. Create an action. All right, I'm going to run this.
And again, when it turns dark blue, that means it's online. I'm going to go down into bot spam. And now we're going to create a simple embedded message. So I'm going to go to forward slash help. And there it is. Here's our embedded message, easy as pie. Now let's just say that you don't want the image to be as large as it is right here. Well, there is one thing you can do. So if we go back here and we go to the embedded message look, we can actually move image URL down to thumbnail URL and let's save it, run the project again. And now it puts the picture off to the side here. So those are just a few things that you can do with created embedded messages. I would play around with it. You can make some really pretty things. We'll probably be going into more advanced embedded messages in later videos, but this is pretty simple to begin with and I do hope it helped you. Thanks for watching.